guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me, just kind of a chit chat. Um, just going to a birthday party for my nephew. So today is a chill Saturday. I have my hair in a fishtail braid. I know it looks like I'm bald, but I swear I'm not. Um, and I'm going to be using a lot of MAC products. I'm going to start with the MAC Prep and Prime um, Skin Base. And this is just a good product to put down before a foundation. I won't be using my MAC foundations that I have because I just don't love them right now. I just don't. I am going to use a mixture of the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. So let me go ahead and apply that, um, but first I'll do my under eye corrector, the Bobbi Brown uh, Peach. Put a little bit right under there to mask those dark circles. using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Concealer, mostly because this is close to my skin tone. So I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This is in Light Plus, so I'm only using it right under the eyes. It's too light for the rest of my face. Using my MAC um, Cheek Palette, I'm going to be using the shade I'm going to be using Max Taupe Blush, and it is a blush, but it's quite a cool tone, like brown, so it's a perfect contour shade. This is a crown brush that has no name on it, unfortunately. Now I'm using Max Blush in Melba, which is kind of a rosy pink with a little bit of peach, but I believe it is a matte shade. I'm just using that same brush, actually. For highlighter, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. It's just the most beautiful um, highlighter. I love this one. I'm going to use the same brush, actually. It works. Just put that right at the top of the cheekbone. Do you see how intense that is? I'm not even going to apply any more over there. I'll just try to blend it out. I'm using the e.l.f. Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Taupe. I actually really like these, so if you're looking for an alternative to the Anastasia ones, these are like $3. And they have a few shades. They don't have as many as Anastasia does, but I have Taupe and Dark Brown, and I like them both. I'm going to just prime my eyes really quick with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Now I'm using my MAC palette and I'm going to um, do kind of just like a daytime eye look. But one thing I'm going to do rather than just doing warm browns or whatever like I normally do, I'm going to be using MAC's Idol Eyes and it is a like silvery, kind of like a lavender silver. I'm going to keep it very light on the eyelid so we'll see what actually comes out of it. I'm using MAC Soft Brown right in the crease and taking it just a tiny bit above that. The color has a bit of orange to it, like a warm brown, so that should keep it from being too cool toned. And then this is a clean brush. This is a Sigma E35 blending, tapered blending brush. And I'm just making sure that I didn't carry that too high up by the brow. And I'll keep this handy for blending purposes. My brow bone, I'm using Max Blanc Type, which is just a white, like an off-white, a creamy shade. Put that right under the brow bone. Okay, and then I'm taking the same Sigma E30 pencil brush, and I'm going into um, Shroom, and this is like a shimmery off-white. And I'm putting that on the inner corner only. It'll probably look a little softer. Right now I feel like it's a little bright, but once I do some blending, I think it'll look a little soft. Using the e.l.f. Eyeshadow C brush, it's like a stiff um, flat brush for that idolized color. 
And the reason I'm using this, yes it has some lavender, but mostly it's for the silver and my shirt has some grayish in it, grayish color, and I think that'll look really pretty. And as you can see, I mean, I'm applying it now and it's pretty soft. It's not um, in your face glitter, but it definitely has some shimmer to it. So now I'm using Max Embark, which is a dark brown. And I'm going to use the this crown brush. It's called the Deluxe Crease Brush. It's more like pointed. And I'm putting that here in the outer V and slightly in the crease. I say daytime look and I come out with silver glitter eyeshadow in this eye. <laughs> and I'll blend that out of course. Now I'm going to go into the brush that had soft brown on it, the transition shade, and I'm blending that from left to right in the crease. And this is kind of softening that upper edge and redefining the crease a bit. Since I didn't take the dark brown in the crease, I just took it on the outer V. Then I'm going in with the clean brush that had no product on it. And I'm blending and softening that outer V. And then I'm going to go in with the lid shade one more time. And touch that up. For lips, I'm wearing Max Twig. Very nice everyday natural color. And then for eyeliner, I want to do something a little softer than black as this is like a daytime thing. So I'm going to use brown. This is Kat Von D's ink liner in Hemingway, which is a brown. You always hear people talk about the tattoo liners, but this is an ink liner. And people always talk about Trooper, the black, but this is the brown. And because I have such a cool tone shade on my lid, using a warm color in the crease, a warm color in the outer V, and a warm color eyeliner is going to really help keep it from being too bright. When I wear a cool tone, sometimes they look a little bit, because I'm warm, they look very unnatural on me, but I feel like if you, if you surround it with warmth, cool tones can be very wearable. Applying the Tarte Tartist Mascara to the top lashes only. If I get some inadvertently on the lower lashes, that's okay, but I'm going to keep the lower lash line bare today since it is a daytime thing. I don't want to be very heavy and smoky or anything. Okay, I'm almost done. I definitely want some powder, some setting spray, and I'm thinking a lip gloss. So let's see what we have. Alright, I'm using this Sephora lip gloss, Sephora brand uh, Metallic Copper. That's really pretty. I like it. I haven't worn this in a long time. Tastes good too. It tastes like um, vanilla cake or something. For powder, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the Matte and Poreless in number 230 Natural Buff. And then for setting spray, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime, uh, the MAC Fix Plus. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I love the way the eyes came out, like where I paired the warm and the cool together so that I could wear a cool tone shade. I think it gives this look a bit of interest. So if you just look at me from far away, I just look like I have makeup on, like you can't really tell. If you look at me from a medium distance, you see I have a warm color in the crease, liner and lashes, you can't really tell. And then if you look at me real close... Like if we were having a conversation, I'm about a foot, foot and a half from the camera right now. You can see the silver on the lid. But normally you can't. Like if we're just talking casually, you wouldn't probably notice. So it's kind of interesting like that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>